Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. And today's video is gonna be about the biggest mistake, the number one mistake that beginners make when starting a business or trying to make Wi-Fi money or when they try and start a side hustle. So the biggest mistake that they make, and I made this as well, is not focusing on one thing. I'm sure you can see it. Not focusing on one thing. Guys, if you wanna be successful, you want to be rich, you want to be handsome, you want to be fit, healthy, you want to have multiple wives, you want to have one girlfriend, whatever you want to do, you need to focus. That's the biggest component or one of the biggest components to success. And if you're trying to, if you're over here, let me actually draw this out. This is you. This is you. And I'll draw a rabbit. This is a rabbit. A rabbit representing your goal. You know the saying, when you try and focus on chasing two rabbits, you chase none. It's no different to business. It's no different to life. Guys, I need you. If you're a beginner, if you're trying to make some money now, some Wi-Fi money, when you're starting a business, please, please, please just focus on chase one, chasing one rabbit. Because let's say this is like the Amazon FBA rabbit. Let's say you wanted to think about, you were thinking about starting Amazon FBA but then you were scrolling on TikTok and then you found someone doing remote closing or high ticket setting. And then you're like, oh, okay, I might do high ticket setting plus uh, Amazon FBA. And then let's say you keep scrolling on TikTok. A few days later, you stumble upon another guy who says to start drop shipping. Now, running, running even one of these is just hard. It's already hard on its own. So how do you expect to run all three successfully? Especially if you're starting out with no business acumen, with in need of a massive mindset and identity change, there's no way in hell you're gonna run three. I'm not, I'm not trying to prey on your downfall, but just just face the facts. Like you're trying to start three businesses at once. You're a beginner. You haven't had any experience, and uh, you want to make it happen fast. There's no way that's gonna happen. I don't know why this isn't drawing. Um, Ecom dropshipping. So this is probably you right now. You're trying to focus on these three diff different business models or more. Like I've seen worse. It's, it's atrocious. It can get really bad. Just roll the dice or look at each one. See which one fits for you. And even if it's not high to... Hey, excuse me. And even if it's not high ticket closing. Like I'm not, I know we promote high ticket closing. I know that's what my channel is all about. High ticket closing. Appointment setting. I know that's what we're all about. And it'd be great if... You can come join us, but the thing is, regardless whether you join us or not, whether regardless you choose high ticket sales or not, I'd rather you just focus on one thing. Like if it's Amazon FBA, if that's where you're, where you see yourself going, then go for it. But just make sure you cut out the rest, cut out the noise. If it is going to be a high ticket setting, okay, cut off ecom, cut off Amazon FBA. If you're thinking about ordering some supplies, some products, then stop that right now. And then just go all in for high ticket setting for the next six to 12 months or more. Because if you go back to one of my previous videos, you'll remember me talking about the compound effect where success usually looks like this. It starts off slow. As time goes on, you're probably kicking yourself. Why is there any, why aren't there any results? And then you keep grinding and grinding. You're about to give up. There's points where you're about to give up. And then all of a sudden, you get a first win and then another win and another win. Maybe you drop off here and then you get another win. You get comfortable, a bit of a, a plateau. And then you just keep going. You get back on your grind and you're off to the races. You're now in the situation you want to be in. But you can't, this won't even happen if you're trying to focus on three different things because the compound effect can't take place. If there's two books I want you to read, actually three, Give me. Th I'll give you three books that you can read. You can read The One Thing by Gary Keller. I think that's his name. One thing by Gary Keller, Compound Effect, can't remember who, that, who that's by, and 80-20 Rule, can't remember who that's by as well, but those are three really good books, and fourth book actually, Essentialism, read Essentialism, because all these books have in common, what all these books have in common is to focus on one thing, get extremely good at it, don't become a generalist, be a specialist, and then let compound effect take us let, let the compound effect take place that's how you win guys it's not jumping between fba e-com copywriting appointment setting 
don't do that and i know it's easier said than done if you're used to doing that because i used to do that as well it's called shiny object syndrome where you're doing something you find it a bit hard let me actually draw a trophy to signify high uh, shiny object syndrome so i get it. it it's hard it's easier said than done especially if you're used to it because you can be doing something you find it really hard but you see this other thing it looks really tempting and people especially influencers nowadays and content creators they make it out to be so easy trust me it's not that easy if it's too good to be true then maybe it is um so anyways you look at that other thing you're doing your own thing you're like hey this is getting really hard up maybe if i should if i just go do amazon fba it might be easier right so you jump over to amazon fba you get in get three to six months in and you're in the same place you're finding it really hard you're hitting resistance and you're in the same spot and then another opportunity comes and the cycle repeats and i know this is really hard to break believe me because i was there before i mean even i was doing i was doing my instagram theme pages and then i jumped over to smma when the e-man was promoting it a lot and then i jump over to coaching and then i switched a bunch of niches so even then niche hopping is a type of shiny object syndrome but that's besides the point Guys, if you want to be successful, you need to focus on one thing. And this, we can take this even deeper. You can take this even deeper. So let's say you go with, let's say you go with high ticket closing, right? Let's say you go with high ticket closing. You've made your mind up. You watch my content. You're like, right, I think I'm ready to do this. Six, 12 months. Give it time that the compound effect take place. But then what you do with high ticket closing, okay. So there's a niche, there's a niche you got to sell under. You got to pick between sales and high ticket closing. So these are a couple of questions that you're going to ask yourself. I don't know why, why that arrow just formed, but let's ignore that. So what niche are you going to, what niche are you going to op operate under? Are you going to do appointment setting or sales? What platform am I going to use to find, to land a position? So you're given a bunch of other options. And again, it's going to be tempting to go with multiple different ones and, and try it a bit and then see which one works. But you need to just pick one, roll the dice, pick one, because all of them work. I'm sure every single script works, every single platform works. I know people who've gone placements through Facebook. I know people who've gone placements through Instagram excuse me you can even get placements through twitter like my friend a couple weeks ago he got a placement through twitter i put him on with someone and uh they brought him on now he's booking like eight calls in two days for them and uh things have been amazing so it just goes to show that any platform works as long as you commit to it appointment setting can make you money sales can make you money any niche can make you money obviously i know there are certain niches there are certain things that you are just hard nose but apart from that guys just you won't know if you don't try. So things like this. If I can think of one more, I'll put it, but these are the main things you're gonna be asking. One outreach method. You're better off, instead of wondering which one to do and spending, in fact, wasting four to six to eight weeks, months, letting that go by with indecision, you're better off just rolling the dice and going with it because they all work you know indecision your inability to make a decision and commit is not going to help you and we need to change that and if it's been carrying on for a long time if you notice you've been in this cycle for a long time then drastic action can only be the only cure to help with that i know it, i know it was for me like i had to beat it out of me so guys, focus on one thing. Same thing with, I'll show you more examples just to drive the point home with fitness. One meal plan or one diet. One workout plan. One, yeah, one, one meal plan, one workout plan. Maybe even one mentor. This is a big thing as well, mentors, or where you get your information from, or, guide, or guidance. 
I get you want to soak up as much knowledge as possible. I get it. You feel like you're being prepared this way. You're being better prepared this way. You're making better decisions this way. But you just want to be extremely careful with who you listen to as well as who you really take on as a mentor. Because if you have multiple mentors shouting in your ear, that advice is going to start contradicting itself. And then now you're just going to be even more lost. Now you're going to be stuck in something called analysis paralysis. We're you're too busy, busy analyzing what's the right decision, what's the wrong decision, that you don't end up making a move again. So in the meantime, while you think you're being productive, soaking up all this knowledge, you're not taking action and you're not committing. Okay? So pick one thing, guys. I'll, I'll show you an example. One more example from my life. Coaching and consulting. So I'm a setter, obviously. Appointment setting. This is the one skill I focused on. Sure, I could have gone and focused on email marketing. I could have focused on copywriting. But this was the skill that I saw myself having success with. As soon as I saw that glimmer of success, I went all in with it. Because I knew if I didn't force myself to go all in on it, I'd be bunny hopping from different services. And then look where I am today. I'm not trying to big myself up to big, big big myself up too much here but this growth could have only happened if i stuck to one thing appointment setting stay in the coaching consulting niche um instagram is my main so dm yeah basically dm is my favorite form of appointment setting or what i specialize in direct message obviously there's cold calling there's different types of types of ways to set appointments but for me it's direct message now this is not don't don't confuse this with being one dimensional this is not being one dimensional this is purely about focus here yes you can be versatile yes you can be a jack of all trades you can learn fast i'm not saying you can't be a fast learner because i'm i know i'm a fast learner if i put my head down and i enjoy the thing a lot then i learn that thing extremely quickly but it is not to be confused with not being versatile or not being flexible. Okay, it's two completely different things. So don't comment in the video, oh, does this mean you, sh you can't be versatile? Does this mean you have to be one dimensional? No, it's just purely about focus. Because guys, we have, we only have 24 hours in a day. And we only have a limited amount of energy. Where we put this energy dictates the trajectory of our life so i don't know what this is like energy bars where we put our energy dictates the trajectory of our life not necessarily time although time is very very important because i guarantee you guys you think you're busy right now i've got two jobs i got a family i gotta hit the gym trust me guys don't you think there are people in your same position who are probably busier than you and they're still getting the things they want to get done? Done? Most likely. Yeah, so think about that. Think about where you're putting your energy. Cut out all the stuff that is distracting you, that's sapping your way of your energy. You know, success is, success is more about what you don't do. Let me stress this is about what you don't do as opposed to what you do. Success is more about what you don't do as opposed to what you do. So it's not about adding more things to your plate that might lead to success. Yeah, yeah sure, that might work. But again, you only have 24 hours in a day. We can only stretch our limbs out so, lim limbs out so far. Why don't you start with the things that are weighing you down? Why don't you start the things that are sapping away of your energy? Things that you can cut out, which will give you more time to focus on that one thing. Easy examples. Social media. Yeah, social media. Crappy diet. Toxic friends and family or people. Um, I'm sure you can come up with examples. I'm going to be here all day if I try and list it out. But things like this 
cut out the things that are leading to your to your failures to your lack of success so you have more time and energy to focus on the things that lead to your success that move the needle success is more about what you don't do as opposed to what you do so i hope that drove, drove the point home focus on one thing guys resist your mind your mind's telling you your mind's getting dopamine from all the choices it has this is what this generation has led to this is where the generation is today we have so much choice so much variety all these bright colors all these you know bells and whistles you need to stand out from the 99 percent who are gonna catch for those fall for those bells and whistles and you need to focus on one thing no matter how hard it is obviously obviously there's a point there comes a point where you're pushing all this effort in and you can just tell it's not going to lead anywhere even if you persisted for five years okay fair enough that's fine but again i'm talking to mainly the beginners here the beginners who don't have any business acumen no experience who don't know what they're doing if i had to tell myself when i was getting into business one thing i'd tell them i'll tell myself focus on one thing so the one thing i'd tell myself when i was getting into business is to focus on one thing that's what i'd do if i was Going back when I was 15, 16, whatever. Focus on one thing, little fellow. Forget it. Forget everything else. Focus on one thing. Get extremely, extremely good at it. And you'll be on the other side of the road. All paths lead to success, but it's just about which path do you want to take. Again, Amazon FBA, e-com, dropshipping, trading, doesn't matter. Let me draw this out. E-com dropshipping, trading, high ticket selling, copywriting, uh, Shopify, real estate. Just focus on one thing. Get really good at it, forget the rest. And I promise you will get there. So I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, peace.